Good morning friends, welcome to the point. In this video, we will understand a concept related to banks and financial institutions which is called asset reconstruction company. So what is this asset reconstruction company? First we will have a look over the definition. It is a specialized financial institution. So here is specialized financial institution that buys NPAs from banks and financial institutions so that they can clean up their balance sheet. This helps bank to concentrate in normal business activities. Banks rather than going after defaulters by wasting their time and effort can sell their bad assets to ARCs at a mutually agreed value. So if you see what happens is let's suppose uh, we'll take an example of HDFC bank. Okay. Now HDFC bank has given a 6 crore loan to Mr. X. Now after a point of time uh, uh, HDFC gets to know that uh, this person is not uh, ready to pay or it is willfully defaulting the payment and uh, further uh, is in no mood to do the payment of or re the repayment of this 6 crore rupees. Okay. Now uh, one option is HDFC uh, uh, goes to the defaulter and uh, gets into negotiation that uh, please pay the amount or whatsoever or goes into the uh, civil proceedings uh, as to get the money out of Mr. X. And the other option which uh, HDFC has is sell this 6 crore. Uh, now this account is called as Mr. X accounts. Now what this HDFC can do in the second option is can sell this Mr. X account to a company called Asset Reconstruction Company for a value less than 6 crore at uh, which the ARC and Mr. X will uh, sorry HDFC will negotiate. Let's suppose ARC buys this Mr. X account at rupees 5.5 crore. Now what will happen is HDFC will get 5.5 crore and will close the account of Mr. X in its books. Now this account has been taken over by Mr. Uh, this ARC which is Asset Reconstruction Company. Now the liability uh, of sorry the responsibility of getting the settlement uh, from Mr. X is with, mis with this ARC. Now this ARC will directly get into contact with Mr. X and uh, get the money uh, uh, for this uh, account or will sell Mr. X's asset which was kept as collateral with HDFC bank and will recover the money. So this is how ARC works that whatever these banks uh, are having NPAs they buy it and uh, all the settlement process and the recovery process is taken care of by ARCs and the banks can clean their accounts or clean their balance sheet as in earlier these were uh, shown as uh, debtor in their balance sheet now the banks can what uh, what can they do is they can reduce the amount of debtor by selling these accounts to such companies so uh, by this uh, banks can create uh, sorry banks can focus on, focus on their core business which is uh, uh, lending and accepting deposits now uh, under what framework is this uh, ARC formed so these are formed under surface act which is securitization and reconstruction of financial assets and enforcement of security interest so this act came in 2002 and under the virtue of this act these ARCs are formed so the surface act helps reconstruction of bad assets without the uh, sorry the reconstruction of bad assets that is the recovery of it what does this ARC do does is it recovers the amount which was earlier uh, declared as NPA since then a large number of ARCs were formed and were registered with RBI which has got the power to regulate RCI so uh, two points to be noted you have in order to function as a this ARC you have to get yourself registered with RBI and RBI is the one who regulates these ARCs. So the uh, uh, legal framework talks about the surface act under which it is formed. Next is the process uh, which I explained you earlier also but we will look into it again. So the borrower which I told you was Mr. X in the previous example uh, the originator it is let's suppose HDFC bank or any bank you like PNB now Mr. X is approaching HDFC for certain amount of loan 
yeah and will uh, give certain collaterals or certain amount as guarantee in case if i don't turn up to pay your amount you can sell off my assets and recover your money <coughs> <coughs> now when this money is uh, so sorry when the sets are kept with the uh, hdfc and all the formalities are done with they provide them with money that is financial assistance okay so these are the two transactions that takes place between the borrower and the bank now the event arises where mr uh, x is not ready to repay the amount now what uh, hdfc can do is either first for on the first stance it can sell the sets on its own the security amount or if it does not want to waste its time doing all the process it can sell the account of mr x to arc uh, along with the assets which were kept as assurance so now this secured asset transfer takes place from hdfc to arc and in return arc will give the cash the book the account of mr x cl stands closed in hdfc account and now this will directly deal with mr x this arc <coughs> yeah now what this qualified buyer is now this arc will find a suitable buyer who can sell these who can take these assets now uh, it will sell these assets via bid or auction whatever they feel uh, is suitable for them now uh, if this person has taken the assets taken over the assets of mr x will give cash to arc and uh, these ARC will transfer the asset to this qualified buyer. So I hope it is clear how it takes place. It starts with a transaction between the borrower and the bank, and if it in in case it defaults, then bank and the ARC, and the ARC goes into the market and sell those assets kept as security in the open market and gets the cash in return. Now, what is uh, from where does this uh, ARC arranges capital and what is the capital norms? So ARC should have a minimum net owned fund of 100 crores as per the RBI. So this is the minimum capital which they have to maintain. ARCs also have to maintain a capital adequacy ratio of 15% of its risk weighted assets. So there is certain category of assets called risk weighted assets. What are these assets? These are the assets used to determine the minimum amount of capital that must be held by the banks and other financial institutions in order to reduce the risk of insolvency. So, uh, in uh, so in order to prevent a bank in going going into liquidation or in being insolvent, there are certain assets which are instructed by RBI to be kept aside in case if any uh, problem arises, the bank can obviously sell those assets and maintain their liquidity so those are called the risk weighted assets and uh, the ARCs have to maintain a capital adequacy ratio of 15% of these risk weighted assets so these are the capital norms so the minimum is 100 crores and the 15% as uh, the of 15% of risk weighted assets also there is no funding by the government as of now uh, it is uh, they have to arrange on, on its own this 100 crores Moving on to the next point is uh, what are the advantages of ARCs? So obviously, first point, it helps banks to clean its balance sheets, the accounts uh, like Mr. X. So there is not one such account. There are so many accounts held with every bank uh, where there are so many defaulter X, Y, Z, Z. Uh, so this helps now by selling these accounts to ARC banks can clean their balance sheet earlier where the data stands for 1000 crores by selling uh, a chunk of it to arcs it can be brought down to whatsoever uh, crores as uh, it depends from arc to arc bank can concentrate on their normal banking operations rather than dealing with sticky assets uh, going to the market and getting the buyer for those secured assets rather than just give it to the arc they will uh, on their own find the buyer for those assets and in return they'll get the money for it assets which can be declared which were declared as npas can be revived now earlier what hdfc was doing it it was uh, itself engaged in dealing with mr x that uh, they repay the money or uh, in worst case scenario if it doesn't uh, return so it turns npa that it is not recoverable uh, uh, mr x is uh, saying that i am not gonna repay it back now uh, by selling it to arc arc has its own ways and ways uh, through which they can uh, re revive the money uh, which once went for a toss so these are the advantages of arc and uh, 
I hope it is clear as to what ARCs are. It helps in helps the bank in recovering. So they are not the uh, loan recovery agents uh, uh, per se. It it just helps bank to focus on its core bank business operations and uh, just deals with the with those accounts where there is a default in payments and people are not willing to pay it back. So it is kind of it deals with the bad debts in the recovery of it. Yeah. So I hope it is clear. And now this is today's video. Thank you so much.